Good morning and welcome to Moms on a Mission. It is the day after Thanksgiving. I hope everyone had a wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving. Uh, we did and I am so thankful for our Thanksgiving this year. Um, this is our first Thanksgiving outside of our home in a few years. Um, having Thanksgiving with some family members and some uh, new family members that we hadn't actually met yet. So it was really good and I hope that you all had a great one too. I am coming to you today because this time of year with the holiday season, uh, somebody always approaches me with scriptures about the Christmas tree being in the Bible. And I wanted to just go over Jeremiah this morning so we could shed a little bit of light on what that scripture is actually talking about. So grab your coffee and let's dig in. Okay, we're going to be in Jeremiah 10 if you want to open up with me. And I'm just going to start with verse 1. Hear the word which the Lord speaks to you, O house of Israel. Thus says the Lord, do not learn the way of the Gentiles. Do not be dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the Gentiles are dismayed at them. For the customs of the peoples are futile. For one cuts a tree from the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They decorate it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and hammers so that it will not topple. They are upright like a palm tree and they cannot speak. They must be carried because they cannot go by themselves. Do not be afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, nor can they do any good. Okay, as much as when it first starts off could sound like a Christmas tree, um, it's not. It is actually a tree that's been cut from the forest, and then it has been carved into an image, and it has been adorned with gold and silver, um, and it cannot speak because it is a statue and it is an idol that has been made and they bow down and worship it. This in Jeremiah is not what we call a Christmas tree. This has nothing to do with a, with a Christmas tree. So I just wanted to clarify that this scripture is taken out of context by so many people, Christians included. Um, I remember whenever I first heard this scripture, and there's one in Leviticus as well, when I first started hearing it, I thought, oh my gosh, is that a Christmas tree? But then I continued to read and um, realized that absolutely it's not a Christmas tree. It's a carbon image that has been made um, these people's God that they bow down and worship. And that, so it, it is definitely not... Um, what we call a Christmas tree. So I hope you have a blessed, blessed holiday season. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and happy Sabbath. Um, that starts this evening at sundown. And I will see you next time. God bless you. Bye.